Jesus. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, my winners. Thank God for another day. Thank God for another day in the land of the living. Praise God, praise God. God is awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of living God. We thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just want to praise him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, welcome, Holy Spirit of living God. We welcome you this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wash us, oh God, in the blood of Jesus this morning, oh God. Sanctify your hearts. Open the wisdom and knowledge and understanding, God, that you have given us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh God. Father, we bless you this morning, O oh God. Come and have thy own way, Holy Spirit of living God. Oh, you are the God, the God that sent your words. And you heal, my God, our disease. You heal the land, O oh God. Father, you are the God, my Father, who forgive us of all our sins. Conscious and unconscious, you Father God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and have your way, Holy Ghost. And this hum humbly... Uh, Father God settings in Jesus Christ's name I pray amen and amen blessed Savior Holy Ghost we thank you we thank you we thank you thank you Lord uh, once again good morning good morning good morning to my winners yes we are winners we are winners okay God is awesome and he's worthy to be praised hallelujah it's so cold outside as well a little bit colder this morning uh, but God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anyway, uh, the Lord wrestled my spirit this morning to talk about his Holy Spirit. Um, the topic this morning is who is the Holy Spirit? Who is the Holy Spirit of the living God? Who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is is Christ Jesus who live inside of our hearts in the purse of the Holy Spirit of the living God okay um, the Holy Spirit of the living God is a one is a person that give us strength it's a person who equipped us and who lead us in all truth the Holy Spirit of the living God without the Holy Spirit we can't do nothing we could pray, 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 pray unto God. God will listen. But if we don't give the Holy Spirit that room to dwell inside of our hearts or to believe that He is within us, we can't do nothing. So we have to be very, very mindful of that. That without the Holy Spirit, we can't do nothing. Okay? The Holy Spirit gives us that boldness. But we have to believe, we have to pray and believe. And you know, God is good. Anyone that is already baptized in the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit of the living God, really of a fact, biblical fact, that we receive the Holy Spirit. We just have to believe. We just have to believe by faith, right? God said in everything we do, we should do it in faith, right? And God says his faith pleases him. You know, one of, one of the, 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 the things that pleases God is faith in him, you know, with our action. So we already received the Holy Spirit when the day we were baptized. We were immersed in the water and baptized and received the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, right? And as the Son of the living God. You know, the Bible tells us we already received the Holy Spirit, okay? So... It's very important for us to know who is the Holy Spirit of a living God and what the Holy Spirit do in our daily lives in Jesus Christ's name. But first I want to go into one of the scriptures that, you know, give us and highlight, a highlight, you know, who the Holy Spirit is. Okay, there are a lot of scriptures in the Bible that tells us, <laughs> I have to put on my... <laughs> Uh, my reading glasses, right? <laughs> praise God, praise God. Just have to use wisdom and put the glasses on. Not going to strain my eyes on these, you know, fine prints. But God is good, praise God. So, one of the scriptures in the Bible is coming from the book of John in the New Testament. The book of John, uh, chapter 14, 
reading at verse 26. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, that was Jesus speaking to, you know, his, his disciples. He said, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father, that's God, will send in my name. He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Stop there. Uh, oh, the words of God is so awesome. What the scripture is telling us, Jesus said, Jesus once said to his disciples that basically Jesus was trying to say, you know, God will send, God the Father will send the Holy Spirit. That's when Jesus, you know, ascended, you know, when he ascended to heaven after he, he's done his mission on earth in the flesh. You know, as we all know, Jesus came down in the flesh, the words of God, right? And um, after he's going to be ascended into heaven, you know, before he ascended, I should say, he told them distinctly that he's going to send the Holy Spirit of the living God, right? And he will teach us. The Bible said the Holy Spirit will teach us in all things. The Holy Spirit is going to teach us all things. And bring to us remembrance of all things that he said. So everything that God had done, Jesus Christ had done on the face of the earth, when he was on earth in the flesh, he is telling us that the Holy Spirit, no matter what, basically don't worry about anything. Sometimes we get up and we worry about God, what should we say, what should we do, how are we going to do it. Yes, we, we should always pray as the words of God say. Already ascended and Jesus lives inside of our hearts, right, today, right? In the person of the Holy Spirit of a living God but he said the Holy Spirit will give us remembrance he would remind us in everything basically that what we should do how we should do things where should we should go you know I know we all have a tendency right we want to do things sometimes on our own strength eh? and we can't do it on our own strength without the Holy Spirit of a living God we can't so we have to seek his face and ask God to use us to his Holy Spirit, right? And, you know, prepare us before we go and, and do anything. You know, we should not go and do anything in our own strength. You know, we all been there where we, where we did that, right? And, um, and we realize that, you know, what we go and do in our own strength we never get the satisfaction we want. We never get the result that we want. Because what? We never seek God's face first. We never seek his face. We never ask the Holy Spirit to lead us, you know, to a place or, you know, and stuff like that. So when we don't do anything without the, 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 the Holy Spirit, we're going to be disappointed. You know, and so we are all have to be mindful of that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Um, the next scripture is that I was led to to also bring to my winners <laughs> uh, is Acts 2. Uh, sorry, Acts. Yes, it's chapter 2. Yes, Acts chapter 2, uh, reading from verse 38 then Peter said to them repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit right Peter as we we, we all know Peter was one of Jesus disciples and he distinctly said to the people right repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins 
and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Ah, uh, praise God. Stop there. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Boil back down again to the Holy Spirit. How we, how we are gifted. We are gifted by God through the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Right? And the gifts of the Holy Spirit, as we know, is when, you know, he started to use us in such a mindful way, a mightily way. You know, the gift of tongues, the gift of healing, you know, the gift of, you know, ministry, the gift of love right because love <laughs> glory to god that's going to be another sermon uh, uh but love is wonderful god is love god is love and um we really have to really have the gift you know it's a gift people thinking that certain things certain uh you know talents that they have and gifts they're thinking that they get it on their own strength no god give us that gift those gifts through the holy spirit who believe the gift of God is not from man. The gift of God is from God himself to his Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So the gift of God is not something that we think we create on our own strength. The Holy Spirit did that. God did that. God gave us gifts and talents. That is why we have to use the gifts and the talents God given to us in the name of Jesus. Yes, we have to use it. And any good gift, any good thing is from God. And when somebody have, when people are gifted in a lot of things, gifted in singing, in cooking, in drawing, in, you know, acting, you know, whatever gift God given to us, we should use it to glorify his name. Because we should not even get puffed up and thinking that the gift came from us no it's from God himself in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because for example you know some of us of course we all have parents right some some of us parents passed away some of us parents still alive but you know at the end of the day you know uh, we see our parents with gifts right certain gifts certain talents we grew and see our parents have in the name of Jesus it's not that because our mom was a uh, talented you know seamstress or a father was a talented singer or whatever you know gift they have it doesn't mean that we the children gonna get that gift because every man gift is different God give each and every one of us different gifts 